Hello, I'm Christina and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be sharing my pregnancy test line progression starting from 7 days past ovulation all the way up until 14 days past ovulation. I even threw in an OPK at 13 days past ovulation uh, just to see because a lot of people said that the um, ovulation tests get darker when you're pregnant so I just wanted to see if that was true um, so I'll show you that. I tested with four different tests so I did the Acumed brand which I got from Amazon in like a hundred pack for less than ten dollars. Super cheap but very very sensitive and that's where I saw my first line. So yes the Acumed from Amazon, the Easy at Home tests from Amazon which came in my ovulation kit thing. So I got a pack of ovulation tests and pregnancy tests in the same package um, from Easy at Home, the brand. I also tested with the First Response brand, First Response, and they are early detection, early result. Yes, First Response, early result tests, um, which are surprisingly, they're sensitive, but I got darker lines on some days um, with the cheap Amazon tests so I was surprised about that because it's supposed to be the first response is supposed to be more sensitive than those oh and I also tested with a digital so I mean there's no line progression with the digital clear blue but it just says pregnant on it so <laughs> I will show you that as well okay so on the left we have uh, the acumen tests on the right we have the easy at home tests so we'll start with the acumen Top one, as you can see, is from seven days past ovulation, and you really can't see that line. <laughs> but I saw it, um, yeah, you can start to see it a bit more. Eight days past ovulation, even in the evening of eight days past ovulation, you could see it. Um, definitely on nine days past ovulation, um, and then it just continues to get darker, and my darkest test was 14 days past ovulation and I figured it couldn't get much darker than that so I decided to stop testing. I also had already gotten my beta tests um, from the doctor's office which was um, on 10 days past ovulation I was at a 44 and then she said on 12 days past ovulation I was a 158 so it had tripled I think the um, HCG was rising and she said it was rising at a good rate according to my blood tests. So there's that. And it was very low on 10 days past ovulation. So she doesn't know how I got a positive pregnancy test the three days before that, but I did. <laughs> so that was Acumed. This is easy at home. Um, similar to the Acumed, but I think Acumed was more sensitive. Uh, sorry for the yellowing test. That's kind of gross. But the top one is the first one I took at 2.30 a.m. on seven days past ovulation where I saw the evaporation line later in the day. Um, you can kind of see it about here. Um, and that's what made me take this test, which I saw a very, 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 very faint line. And I think starting from eight days in the evening, uh, so the 2.30 p.m. test on 8 DPO. And then the last one was super, super dark. And I decided to stop taking tests at that point. This was an easy at home ovulation test that I took on 13 days past ovulation with my first morning urine. Um, very, very dark. And so there's that. And these are my first responses. I didn't take it past 12 days past ovulation because... I ran out and I didn't feel like buying another box of first response tests, but that was the first first response at eight days past ovulation. I don't know if you could even see that at all, but there's a very, very faint line there. <laughs> uh, it started to get darker and darker and darker and darkest at 12 days past ovulation. This was taken at nine days past ovulation with my first morning urine. And apparently the result stays on for six months, so that'll be good. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. 
good luck to you on your journey if you have come across this video and are binge watching videos like this as I was when I was trying to conceive this pregnancy. I filmed a two week wait symptom video. So from seven days past ovulation until 14 days past ovulation, all the symptoms that I felt that should either be up or going up shortly. I also filmed a four week pregnancy update and a pregnancy test video and a video about what I did the month that we got pregnant, um, all the things that I did to try and conceive, the things that I ate, the things that I, the supplements that I took, ovulation tests and all that. So it was a vlog for that month if you want to check that out. Yeah, so stay tuned for more pregnancy content to come. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time.